Hey you, Kim Furs, it's Emiko, back with another video. So this time it's a showcase video featuring my recently finished Kimono Dutch Angel Dragon, which I named Ignacia. The link to the dealer's den will be in the description. The starting bid is $725, which covers the material cost to make this suit. And the buy now price is, wait for it, $1,493.31. Now you're probably wondering, why the specific number? Well, this includes the shipping and PayPal fee. We did all the calculations, so that's the highest amount that you will pay for the auction. By the end of this auction, I will be personally selling it, so not through the dealer's den, and it'll be going for full price. So I recommend that you get it while it's still in the auction house, so it's a lower price for you. Now, just as a warning, I will be poodling or showing skin in this video. This is mainly to just show off the suit, so it's not for performance-wise. I'm not doing it for a performance, it's just to show you guys what each suit entails, so let's get to it. So here's what is included and how to suit up in this suit. So first things first, when wearing any sort of suit, wear something to keep your sweat out of your face like a bandana or a lycra suit. This to prevent mildew and preventing your suit from smelling, basically. The second thing that you should know or the thing that I recommend you do is wear socks when wearing the feet paws. So here are the feet paws. I've already attached the custom sandals to the feet paws themselves as it's easy to put them on this way. and. Here is a picture so you can see the bottoms more clearly if you really want to see the paw pads and, you know, all that jazz. The right foot paw has a stitch marking on the heel to differentiate between the left and right paw. Um, within the sandals, there is either an R or an L to mark which foot it belongs to. Things to know when you're putting these on or how to put them on. At the top, there is an elastic band and that is meant to go above your ankle and if it's lower then you're putting it on wrong. There is a water shoe within so you should use your finger or thumb to help slide your heel into place because there is a heel spot. Then when you're done just adjust it and then buckle the sandals into place and you're done putting on your foot paw. Um, although as a side note these feet paws are really wide and can be dangerous to walk in. And if you're not careful, you will trip and you can fall. You can potentially fall and that's dangerous. So I'm going to warn you that be careful when you walk. As for the tail, it's pretty self-explanatory, but here we go. For the tail, you will need a belt of sorts. Most will do. The one I'm using is about two inches and that did the trick. Um, the tail has two belt loops. So typically you put a pant loop in between these two belt loops and the loops will keep it in place and stable. However, my shorts have one too many loops and I struggled, so I'm just gonna skip the struggle as I already did. And as you can see, obviously, as this is a video, um, it's a long red tail with a fish-like tail end and it has a white fanfare base. I, I love this tail. Like, I put it on and I just, I had fun. And I hope you, whoever buys it, will have fun with it as well. Next up is the wings. As you can see me brush these, let it be known that this suit, like any other suit, will need to be brushed. Brush maintenance is important for every suit. These are medium-sized wings, so 24 inches by 13 inches. Each wing is 12 inches wide by 13 inches tall, and it's tri-colored. You can see one, two, three colors. Um, the base of the wings are sewn to elastic and is stuffed with polyfill to give that plush look. Now for the head! I was gonna save the best for last, but it's hard to put a head on with hand paws. So on each side of the head, there is a flap of fabric to give an extra poof to it. Now it's not always seen, but it's there. I just thought I'd let you know. It's, it's there. As for the inside of the head, it's made from a plastic canvas base and padded with foam on the inside and outside. Now, the eyes are not water resistant, like most heads are not water resistant, but there are washing instructions that will be sent inside the package, so do not fret. A head fan is also included, although the battery pack is not, you'll have to buy your own. However, there is a pouch on the inside, which is not shown in the video, but it's there. And obviously, it has floppy lovable ears as well as a set of horns. Now, when putting on the head, the first thing you want to do is grab the chin and the back of the head like 
shown, hopefully. The second thing you want to do is place your hand inside while pulling the chin back and head out as you need to. Um, do not push on the eyes from the outside. Instead, push on the muzzle to adjust yourself to align your head inside. And then the next thing you just want to pull the neck flap out because it will get caught and just adjust yourself and you're, you're good to go. Now for the hand paws. These are puffy paws filled with polyfill. The right is lined in white and the left is lined in black. Easy way to remember is that white rhymes with right. Now here I'm acting. Sorry if it's bad? I haven't been in a suit in a while, so you guys tell me if it's good or bad acting. Um, as you watch me in suit, I think it's a good time to say that I made a Discord server, originally for my patrons, but I also wanted everyone who likes kimono style to join and mingle, as I realize there's not a lot of kimono fan pages or Discord servers, and usually they die out. Like, I'm in at least four kimono aminos, and three of them is dead. However, there are still channels that are locked that are exclusive to my patrons. There's still channels that are locked, but there's a majority of them that are unlocked um just so you guys can you know mingle chat and whatnot if you go to my patreon you can actually see what the rewards are you can become a patron to support my channel and what i do and you can get videos faster ideas and take polls like personal polls and yeah you can do a bunch of things there um you can get merch raffles there's a bunch of things you can do thank you for watching please like subscribe comment what you think of my acting or what other videos you want to see or even if you or just join the discord and tell me how you feel you know i really want to talk to you more kimono i want to talk to kimono first that's my lingo it's starting to catch on i'm i'm actually really happy people have started to use it i'm proud <laughs> anyway thank you for watching bye